Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm coming through with another video. And we're going to get right into this. You guys really got to understand that saying no is one of the most powerful things you can do for yourself right now, at this moment, to a lot of things. Because not everything that comes into your life is a good thing. The devil does show up. He does send certain individuals your way to take you out. To discourage you. To bring you down. Start saying no. To a lot of things. You want to make sure what you're getting yourself into first before allowing things come too close to you in your life. You really want to make sure of this. And if something doesn't feel right about a specific person or a specific situation, you need to close the door on this. You have to say, no, nope, back off. Back the fuck up. That's what you have to start doing. And a lot of you guys out there, and some girls, you guys are terrible at saying no when it comes to hanging around with toxic people. You guys are terrible at saying no when it comes to people already abusing you and you are allowing this to continue on. And you still hold on to these people for whatever reason. Maybe because you just don't want to be alone. But that there's nothing more lonely than having the wrong people in your life. There's nothing more brutal than all this abuse going on in your life bringing you down. You will find much more peace and happiness off on your own by yourself until the right people do show up. And guess what? The right people are never, ever, ever, ever going to show up as long as you have these toxic ass people in your life because you are going to become a toxic ass person just by having these people around it's going to rub off on you now you're going to be carrying this energy because you're always around these people and you're letting these people get in your head and this doesn't even mean you're a bad person but this energy is contagious guys this shit rubs off on you and I know this from first hand. I had to literally, I was a guy in my past that was friends with just about everybody. Had way too many friends, way too many. And that shit never ends well. I'm just too nice of a person, but I learned my lessons. I'm at heart, I'm still that nice person, but I have my boundaries. This is what I'm trying to get across to you guys, because a lot of you guys are not bad people. I'm not saying this. You're just bad at saying no, and you allow things into your life very easily. Because you all you you literally have too good of a heart. And I had this problem myself. This doesn't mean we need to turn toxic and we need to start getting revenge on other people and start doing other people dirty because it happened to us. We can keep our good hearts. We just need to have boundaries and we need to set them. And as long as we stay true to ourselves, don't change as a person, just have boundaries. It might take some time, but the right people will show up and the right people will want to be a part of your program and what you got going on in your life. This is how this works. And you have to be patient. If you're not patient, you're not gonna get anywheres. 
I had to be patient for over a half a decade. Over five years now, I had to have extreme patience. And the same patience I had within these last five years is something I'm still maintaining to this day right now. I'm still being patient. I'm still working my ass off. I'm still saying no to toxic people and situations. And I ain't perfect. I'll slip up every now and then and I'll get myself in a certain situation that I shouldn't have got myself in. Because we can't avoid every single situation for this long of a period. You're bound to get in something you didn't know you were going to get in. But the point of the matter is you got to realize what you got yourself into and never do that again. The problem with that is if you're making that same mistake then it's no longer a mistake. It's a choice. We can all end up in a toxic situation, but if you're going to keep doing that same thing over and over, you are choosing to do this. And I didn't even choose to get in a toxic situation myself. It just happened because I didn't know it was coming, but it happened. And when it happens, I'm not going to make that same mistake again because I see it for what it is. And I move on. I ain't going to do that again. And you guys have to do the exact same thing. Instead of holding on, instead of being too nice of a person. And don't let toxic people make you change your mind. Don't let these toxic people manipulate you. And get you thinking a certain type of way to make you feel bad for them. They're going to make you feel guilty whatever way they want to, whatever smooth talk they got going on. And that's honestly the devil. That's, that's some devilish shit right there. People are sick in this world, in today's society. It's sick. Like, growing up, guys, just as a younger kid as myself, I did not see any of this shit coming from a mile away. I didn't know how evil this world really was. I did not know this. All the information I know right now, I didn't even know it existed five years ago from right now. Didn't even know it existed. But yes, it does. And I didn't look into anything to do with like personality disorders and shit like this. I knew what psychopaths and sociopaths were, but honestly, I never heard of narcissists and stuff like this till about a couple years ago. And this is some of the best shit you will ever learn in your life. And I have a deep fascination about this shit. And I think a big reason for that is because of how much shit I went through in my own life with all these people. I just like seeing everything for what it is is the key to life. Because if there are certain things that happen to you and you don't know why it happened, it can hurt a lot worse. But if something hurts you and you see the situation for what it really is, you're not going to blink an eye. You're going to see it for what it is. It's not on you, it's on them. There's nothing wrong with you, there's something wrong with them. Healthy people don't go around abusing other people. Healthy people don't go around bringing other people down or using people, lying to people. There are compulsive liars out there today. And there's a lot of females that are like this today just to get what they want. They don't care about other people's feelings at all. They couldn't give a damn. And it's, it's all gonna come back on them every time. And they can't understand why they can't stay happy. It's funny to me. Can't understand why.
as soon as you recognize people like this that are trying to make their way into your life, you have to cut them off. You have to keep your distance from these people. God did not send these people your way. That is not God. Just to let you guys know that. And things, the, the crazy thing about this is things can always look good on the outside. But you're not seeing what's actually going on on the inside. Someone can be speaking words to you out of their mouth that you want to hear and you can't see that snake tongue coming out while they're talking. You can't see that. And that's some scary shit right there. Because these people are everywhere. And it's honestly terrifying. It's terrifying for people like us who actually have a heart and who actually care about other people just besides ourselves. Terrifying. Because any, any single one of us are susceptible of getting caught up with people like this and getting burnt. But all this information, the more we have of this information, the lesser of a chance it is that we get burnt. And I'm at a point now where it's very, very hard to burn me because I'm so protected. I have so much knowledge and understanding that it's just very hard to get over on a person like me. And I want to give you guys all this power, all this knowledge, all this experience, all this wisdom, so you guys feel the same amount of power that I feel right now in my life, because I feel very powerful right now in literally every area of my life, and I'm just upping all these areas of my life. And guys, like, the thing is, all I was ever doing was looking for my soulmate. And I ended up with a degree in psychology. It's funny how shit works, right? Everything happens for a reason. Start saying no. Especially if you feel if something is off. Because you're automatically gonna you're automatically gonna say yes with a smile on your face. And you're gonna feel lit up inside if the situation is right. If people are asking you to do shit and it leaves you with an empty type of like, uh, I don't know, feeling, say no, please. But if the situation gets you fired up, you feel excited, you feel happy. You can feel happiness off these people who are trying to maybe arrange a plan with you. Or maybe they're asking you out. Maybe they're asking if you want to hang out. It could be anything. Just make sure of it. And don't hang, like if you, if you know somebody's a toxic person and you're still hanging out with this person, That's, that's only going to bring you down. It's going to do nothing for you. And as long as you do this, you are never going to change and you are never going to be the person that you should be. As long as you are hanging out with these people because you are who you hang with. You have to learn how to say no. Bottom line. If you have to spend time alone, do that instead of hang with these people. Because you know what you can do when you're alone? You can consume as much positive material a 
across the internet, across dozens of platforms, rather than hang out with bullshit people and toxic people and end up getting yourself in some type of trouble. Ending up in a relationship or a friendship with people that will stab you in the back at any given moment. That will steal from you. That will lie from you. That will cheat you. Possibly even hurts you physically. Depending on who it is. You just never know. And I got my point across in this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like my video, please, guys. Don't forget to like these videos. If you guys had a good comment, go for it. Share these videos, guys. If you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'm going to cut this video off now, and I'll be back tomorrow with another fresh topic. Until next time, peace.